Hey, it's Kilobyte here, and what day is complete without your GE dishwasher giving you problems? In this case, it's a FTD error, failure to drain. The good news is it won't be as bad as it could be. You will want to get all the water out the bottom, remove the covers, and right there, is your pressure sensor and that is most likely dirty you don't have to pull the dishwasher out to get to it you just got to remove the toe plate there are two screws so you can use a Phillips or a quarter inch socket to remove those I highly suggest turning the breaker off before doing this. Have a towel ready right here. Pull that out and up. Right here, you gotta pull the wire off. Push there. Slide it out. Don't get that wet if you can help it. Now pull your the part out. It's gonna look something like this. And you wanna pull this black piece, that's the sens sensor itself, out of the white piece. Okay, try not to get that part wet. First, we're gonna clean this out. That is nasty. Now, you're going to clean this out, and be a little more careful with it because of that. Now, I use a toothpick. And there's a plunger. You just work on that. Tap it a little, yeah, you can't see it probably. There, can you see that? A little bit of debris came out. Slide it back in. And we put it back into the under the dishwasher. Okay, wires back in. Now, we're going to insert this opposite of how we took it out. So line it up here. And there. Now it's in. Now be aware that's got an O-ring. Don't put the kick plate back on until you know it is not going to leak. So I put the screens back on. It has power again. I'll be back in like five minutes. Well, you won't notice. So if cleaning the pressure sensor didn't resolve your issue, then I would test the drain pump, which is right here. There is a clip right here that you want to push. And it looks like I cracked mine when I did it. That'll let you turn it. You can do it from underneath. Turn it this way. That'll let you pull it out. There is a connection. It's just a standard connection. You'll want to pull that out. And that'll let you pull it out from underneath the dishwasher. When you have the pump out from underneath, you'll see where it connects. Use a multimeter. Set it to ohms. Put one end on each of the metal pieces inside the where the switch connects to the pump and read your ohm setting. If it's within the specs of yours, you're fine as far as the pump goes. On mine, it was jumping between three different numbers and I hit it on the ground, actually unintentionally. It 
slipped and hit the ground. <laughs> and after that, it started reading correctly. So it, it, I was, put it back in and everything worked. So something on mine in my drain pump was stuck and I just knocked it and whatever it was became unstuck. It has worked since. Now it's only been a few days. If I do start getting that failure to drain error, it'll probably be this drain pump and I will buy a new drain pump to replace this one. I will mention there's an impeller in here as you can see on the pictures. And obviously while you have it out, check that impeller to make sure that it is turning and that it's not all mangled from food particles. By the way, your dishwasher is not a garbage disposal, nor is it the trash can. Clean your dishes off, rinse them off a little before you put it in. Don't have a bunch of big food particles that are going to clog up your dishwasher. It, your dishwasher will thank you for it by not breaking down as much. Notice I say as much. <laughs> Hope that was helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, comment, and good luck with yours.